Hello, my name is Erin Weimer. Thanks so much for checking out my page. If you enjoy class, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated on upcoming content. And if you'd like to leave a donation, my information is in the movie notes. So today we're going to take a journey into wheel pose. We're going to move the spine in all different directions and prepare ourselves for three wheels at the end of class. Of course, if wheels not in your practice, I'll offer modifications for you in the meantime. So let's start in a seated position. If you need to sit on a pillow or a block, you're welcome to. And we're just going to start really simply with some seated cat cows. Use the inhale to lengthen the front of the body. Use the exhale to tuck and round. And feel free to take this at your own pace. So no need to rush through these. Think about using the entire length of the breath to fully articulate the spine. Let's do two more like that. Now keep moving through cat cows and start to move your ribs in one direction. Feel this movement initiate from the low ribs incorporating your cat cows. Let's do one more in this direction and then we'll switch sides. And we'll do one more. Come up with a long spine, big breath. Exhale, twist towards the right. Bring the left hand to the right knee. Inhales, an invitation to lengthen. Your exhales, an invitation to move into the twist. As you inhale, stretch your right arm up by your ear. We'll keep the left hand where it is. And then take a side bend up and over to the left. Inhale up, tap your right fingertips on the ground, and exhale, reach up and over. Inhale, reach, and exhale, maybe go a little bit further once more. Let's inhale back up, and exhale, twist towards the left, right hand on the left knee. Let's feel both of your sit bones on the ground, both side bodies equal in length. As you inhale, stretch your left arm up by your ear and exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, reach up, tap your left fingertips behind you and exhale, reach. Twice more. Maybe you go a little further on that exhale. Last one. Inhale, back up, and exhale, fold over the shins. Find three breaths here. Let the head be heavy, let the arms be heavy, chest heavy. And then we'll make our way into downward facing dog. So high plank is usually a good point of reference for the distance between our hands and feet and down dog. You might come a little bit closer and see if you can stretch your heels to the ground without hyperextending the knees. Let the back of the neck be long, crown of the head is heavy as you press the palms down and forward. Let's take a big breath in and exhale, walk to the back of your mat, forward folds. Inhale, find some length halfway and exhale, fold into yourself. Stretch the arms wide to the sky, inhale. And as you exhale, bring your arms into a cactus position. Lengthen the low back, inhale, open and expand. Exhale, palms to heart. Let's do it again, inhale, open and expand. Exhale, palms to heart. Last time, little arch to the upper back. 
and exhale. Inhale your fingertips up the midline of the body. Exhale, dive down to the ground. Let's find a halfway lift. Inhale and exhale, crawl forward to your plank. Knees up or knees down, shift forward. Come all the way down to the ground. Walk your fingertips away from you so that the hearts of the palms are lifted, soft bend through the elbows. Inhale up to your low cobra, draw the shoulder blades down, and exhale to lower. Bring your fingertips in a couple more inches. Inhale, lift a little higher, draw the navel off the mat, and exhale. You can stay or come in a couple inches closer. Big breath in, lift the collarbones. Exhale to lower. This time, see if you can bring fingertips by the chest line. Inhale up to rise. Exhale, right shoulder drops. Let's inhale up through center. And exhale, left shoulder drops. Big breath in, reach tall. And exhale, lower down. Plant the palms by the chest, tuck the toes, inhale, knees up. Exhale, press through plank or tabletop to downward facing dog. Focus the eyes, big breath in. And exhale all the way out. Let's inhale, right leg floats. Exhale, bend the knee, turn it skyward. Take a big breath in, see if you can lift it higher. Exhale, step between the thumbs, left heel down. Warrior two, open it up. Feel equal weight through both feet. Spread the fingers wide. Lengthen through the upper spine. Inhale, your right leg lengthens. Exhale, reach forward. Pivot the arms to 12 and 6, Trikonasana. Stamp down through both feet equally and try to find more length through your right side body. Let's find reverse warrior. Deep bend in your front knee. As you reach the right arm up, bend into the front knee. Feel yourself side bend over to the left. Let's take an inhale here. Exhale, hands to the ground. Pop your back heel up. Inhale, your right arm opens to the sky. Exhale, right hand behind the head. And you can have a block under your left hand if you need. Start to lift the head open as you draw the right elbow back. Work the right upper arm bone back. Big breath. Exhale, release, straighten both of your legs. Pyramid pose. Fold your belly, your chest, your head over the thigh. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale to your lunge. Exhale, step lightly top of the mat, forward fold. Find your halfway lift. Inhale and lead with the heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to the sky. Exhale, interlace your hands at the nape of the neck. Lengthen the tail. Hug the elbows in, and as you inhale, start to lean the head back into the hands. Lift the sternum up, take a big breath. Exhale, soften your knees, pull the belly in, fold to the ground. Inhale, extend the chest halfway. As you exhale, step your right toes back. Keep the feet hip width, rise up to your high crescent lunge. Feel your pubic bone lifting to the navel, creating some opening through the front of the right hip. As you inhale, reach your fingertips higher. Exhale, reach the arms wide out and back and hinge. Feel this essence of cobra in the chest as you inhale, reach the arms forward, lock the arm bones into their sockets. Fill the lungs fully, Exhale, hands to the ground, high plank. As you inhale, shift forward. You can go half or all the way. Inhale to your back bend, maybe knees and thighs lift, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog, stretch it back. 
take a big inhale here and exhale all the way out. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, bend the knee, turn it to the sky. Stay for the breath in and exhale, quiet step between your thumbs, right heel down. Let's open up warrior two. Take a long, long stance. As you bend into the front knee, see if you can wake up your right inner arch. Inhale, left leg lengthens. Exhale, reach and pivot. Arms to 12 and 6. Feel your left sitting bone spin in towards the right. Feel the chest turning open. Reverse your warrior. Deep lunge into the front knee as you reach up and back. Allow the right shoulder to drop as you lengthen through the back of the skull. Let's take a full breath here. Exhale, hands to the ground. Pop your back heel up. Inhale, your left arm opens for a twist. Let's bring the left hand behind the head. Turn open. Right arm bone drawing back. Left arm bone drawing back, big breath. Let's go pyramid pose. Exhale, fold over the thigh. And take a big breath in, let it feel good. And exhale out. Inhale to your lunge. Let's step top of the mat, forward fold. Extend the chest, lengthen halfway. Take this length with you as you exhale and fold. Inhale all the way up, bring the palms together. Exhale, bend the elbows, thumbs tap the back of the neck. Now feel the elbows hug in, the shoulder blades widen, and start to lean the head back into the forearms. Big inhale, exhale, soften the knees, fold to the ground. Let's find a halfway lift. And as you exhale, step your left toes back, high crescent lunge. Bend into the front knee and push through the right heel. Work the right hip crease back. Again, feel the front of your pelvis lift up, creating a little bit of opening through left hip flexors. Let's take a big inhale. As you exhale, reach the arms wide out and back. Hinge forward. Try to keep your right side body long as you inhale. Arms reach forward, extend, reach up and out. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to the ground. High plank. Let's shift forward. We'll come all the way down to the ground. Bring your left arm out to the left. Or if you have the room, you can bring your arm to a cactus position. Drop your left ear. Roll leftwards, either stacking your knees or placing your right foot behind you. And take a breath here, and as you exhale, use your right fingertips to lower your belly down. We'll switch sides. Full big inhale. Exhale, use your left fingertips to lower yourself down. Place your palms by the chest line. Tuck the toes and press through plank or tabletop to downward facing dog. Focus the eyes for your inhale. Soften the gaze for your exhale. Let's inhale, right leg floats up. Exhale, big step through. Feet hip width, inhale, rise to crescent. Exhale, arms go wide, hinge. Inhale, extend the fingertips forward. Go warrior two, exhale. Inhale, right leg lengthens. Exhale, reach and pivot, arms to 12 and six. Inhale, reverse your warrior, deep bend in the front knee. Exhale, chaturanga or not. Take an inhale as you arrive. And big exhale out.
Left leg inhales up. Exhale, step lightly between the thumbs. Inhale up, high crescent. Exhale, reach wide and hinge. Inhale, extend the fingertips forward. Warrior two is your exhale. Inhale, left leg lengthens. Exhale, reach and pivot. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, vinyasa or not. Let's take a big, big breath in. And as you exhale, step your right foot forward. Drop your left knee down. Now, if your knee is sensitive, you might want to roll over your mat or bring a blanket underneath. Just bring your hands on top of your thigh. Sink down and forward. Now, option one, you can use a block. You can stretch your right arm up and back and go for that quad stretch. Option two, if you have a little more room to work with, climb up onto your thigh, press back slightly, and see if you can work the left heel in. Reach back with your left hand. Reach back with your right. And you want to feel that you're not on the kneecap, but more in like the quadricep attachment. Let's take a big breath in. As you exhale, carefully release your back foot. Let's inhale, your left knee lifts. Step top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, lead with the heart, maybe grab the calves. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands interlace behind the back. Soften the knees, lengthen the tailbone, and then drop your knuckles, lengthen the chest up, keep the chin drawing in slightly. On your next exhale, bend the knees, pull the navel in, belly to thighs, and fold. Three breaths. By way of your low back, release the hands. Find a halfway lift, and then step your right toes back. Drop the right knee down. All right. Option one, you can circle. Left arm up and back, quad stretch. Option two, climb up onto the thigh. Push back a little bit. See if you can work right heel to right hip. Reach the right arm back. Draw the heel in. Maybe reach your left arm back. Let's take a big breath. Carefully release your back foot. Inhale, your right knee lifts up. As you exhale, turn once to the right, prasarita. I'm gonna pivot to turn to you. And fold. Walk your palms forward a little bit and just let the spine traction. You're using gravity to traction the spine. Imagine someone were pulling your hips up and back. All right, lengthen the chest, slide your palms in a little bit, and then reach your right hand across for the top of um, your left shin or ankle. Turn your right toes out. I'm not mirroring you. Turn the right toes out, bend into the right knee. Left leg stays straight, and then pull with your right arm and just feel that opening underneath right shoulder blade. See if you can lunge a little deeper, big inhale. Exhale, release the right palm down. Let's switch sides. Left arm crosses the body, grabbing for right shin or ankle. Turn your left toes out, bend into the left knee and pull with your left hand. Last breath in. Exhale, release. Let's bring the hands to the hips. Turn the elbows up with a long spine. Come on up. Bring your hands behind the back. Either bring your knuckles together or close your palms like a book. If you're here and your shoulders are jutting forward, 
back off so that you can keep collarbones lifting, shoulder blades drawing down. Let's take an inhale and then exhale, we'll fold. Might take a couple breaths to get there, that's okay. So just keep in mind, shoulder blades drawing down, collarbones lifting up, stretching the front of the shoulder. Let's take another breath in. And by way of your low back, release your hands. Find a halfway lift here. Turn to the top of your mat and just step into tabletop. From there, we'll move into Vajrasana. So this is option one. You can sit on your heels and just hang tight there. Option two, you can separate your heels a little bit widen the calves out of the way and come into Virasana. Some of you might have a block underneath your seat. Totally fine. Wherever you're at, you can stay here or you can start to walk back. If you're on your block, you'll probably just stay here. But wherever you're at, take a moment to scoop the tail under and then lay the buttocks down. Some of you might come back onto your forms. I'm not able to do that with a block. And some of you might come onto your backs. We're just here for about six or seven breaths. You can drop the head open, of course, if that bothers your neck or you can't breathe, bring the chin in. Last couple breaths. And if you're on your back, start to slide the palms back. Come up onto your fingertips, lift the hips, untuck the tail, find that anterior tilt, and then come up. And then we'll just come into a down dog for a moment and get the ankles back online. Okay, come down to your knees. Meet me back in your seat. And this is where we'll play around with some things. So place your feet flat and lift your hips up. Bring your block underneath your sacrum. If it feels like you can, see if you can lift your hips and bring your block to its highest level. If that's not working for you, don't worry about it. And then try to find a neutral chin so it's not tucking, it's not lifting. And then shimmy to the top portions of your shoulder blades. See if you can interlace your fingers behind your back. And then option to bring your legs up to the sky for a supported shoulder seal. Let's take a breath in here. As you exhale, draw the knees in one at a time. Place your feet flat on the ground. Lift the hips, remove your block, and just drop your knees side to side. And then roll all the way over to one side. Press up and just interlace your fingers and find some circles opening up the wrists. Go in each direction. Flip the palms away from you. Spread the fingers wide. And then flip the palms in and up. This one's a little awkward. Feel the heels of the palms lifting. And let that go. Shake up the wrists. Place your palms on the ground. You can do this in a tabletop if you want. And either turn your fingertips to the sides, or some of you might turn your fingertips back towards your knees. Last breath in. As you exhale, unwind the hands. Come to the backs of the hands, either fingertips turn in, or you can spin them down towards your knees.
breath in and exhale, release. All right. So we're going to start to work into wheel. Things you want to keep in mind, biceps hug in. We did that with um, a handful of our backbend variations. We want to feel the shoulder blades widening. So this is the action that keeps the arms locked in their sockets. If this isn't working for you, can absolutely do bridge, all right, which is where we're going to start. And you might just hang there. So we're not going to use the block this time unless you want to. Palms down, shoulders out of the ears, and then lift the hips. See if you can shimmy to the tops of the shoulder blades. So you're welcome to stay here or bring the palms by your ears, fingertips turn out ever so slightly. I like to walk my feet in a little closer here. You can come to the top of the head for a moment, hug the biceps in, and then option to lift up. Now you might choose to lift your heels to create a little more room for your lower back. Let's see if you can straighten the arms. Big inhale and exhale, tuck your chin, lower down. Knock your knees into center and just rest your hand on your body. So that's one of three. I usually find that by the third one, I'm feeling a lot better than I was in the first one. Separate the knees, place the feet flat. Palms down, shoulders out of the ears, lift up for bridge. Shimmy to the top portions of the shoulder blades. You can stay, you can interlace the fingers or palms by the ears. Maybe walk your feet in a little closer and then you can stop at the top of the head or come straight up. See if you can parallel the feet, let the head hang. Press into the heel, straighten the arms for three. Last two, one more inhale. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, drop back of head, upper spine and lower spine. Knock the knees in. And if you need to do a little roll out through the wrists, you can. Obviously, flexibility in the wrists is part of this. Okay, third and final set. We've got this. We've stretched out the front of the quads. We've done a handful of back bends. We've stretched out the wrists. So third time's the charm. Let's see where this goes for you. Again, feel free to just come into bridge. You can pause on the top of the head or maybe you're just ready to go. Hug the elbows in. Feel your tailbone reaching in between the knees. Pump your heart to the back of the mat for three. Last two, one more inhale. And exhale, tuck the chin. Slowly lower from top to bottom. Open the arms out wide, big breath here. Exhale, drop your knees to one direction. Pretty energizing to do. Fill the lungs. As you exhale, bring your knees up and over to the opposite direction. And take an inhale. Exhale, knees to center. Let's draw them into your body. Find a little rock side to side. And some circles around the sacrum. Hmm. Alrighty, extend your legs to the sky. Reach your arms by your ears. Not so that they're resting on the ground, but like your arms are in Tadasana, slightly in front of the ears. Take a breath here. And as you exhale, lower and hover your right leg above the earth. Imagine I were trying to slide my hand onto your back. See if you can pull the belly in more. Feel the spine on the ground. Big breath in. Exhale, right leg up. Let's take an inhale, adjust, lock the arm bones into their sockets. Exhale, left leg hovers. Draw the sacrum down, feel the ribs pull down. Big breath here, 
Exhale, left leg up. Let's release the arms down by your sides, palms face down. You can go out a little wider if you like and take about 15 to 20 seconds to lower your legs. Trying to keep that connection between your spine and the ground. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. Again, belly's pulling in, pubic bones lifting to the navel. And then eventually let your legs open wide, flip the palms to the sky, take a big breath here. And exhale, just side out. Let the back of the head and the shoulders be heavy. Elbows, wrists and fingers dropping. And you'll feel that natural lift in your low back, that natural curve in the lumbar spine. Just allow that to happen. Tops of the thighs, heavy knees, ankles and toes, weighted. And just take a couple more full breaths, allowing yourself to move into a deeper state of relaxation. Let's take a big breath in and exhale, just sigh it out. Please stay here as long as you want or need. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.